Hello, my artists. Are we ready to draw the goldfish painting by Henri Matisse? So we're going to be drawing a bowl of goldfish inspired by Matisse's famous painting. So the first thing that we're going to start with is going to be the container that the fish are in. And we're going to start that off with making an oval shape a little bit higher than the middle. We want the whole middle section to be for our goldfish. So the top of the container the fish are in are gonna go a little bit higher than the middle. And I'm just going to make an oval or an ellipse is another word for an oval that kind of got squashed. I'm going to make a straight line down on either side. And I'm going to connect them with a curve. So there's my container that my goldfish are going to be swimming around in. Now inside, we're going to make another ellipse that's going to be the top of the water. And for this painting, it's kind of important because we're going to see the reflection of the goldfish up there. So the next thing that we can do is we're going to put this goldfish bowl on a table and can't just be floating around. So I'm gonna make a curved line from one side around to the other. Now I might see a couple of the legs coming down. That is the bottom part of the table. So you can add that too. Now your table might come down lower, that's okay. If you don't have room for the legs or if yours is up higher and you see more of the legs, that's okay too. All right, so after we have that part, we're gonna fill in a little bit of the background with some plants. So Matisse painted the things he saw around his house and he had these goldfish and he also had a lot of plants. So a lot of his paintings have some of these things in there. So I'm going to add a couple of big leaves that look like some of them that are in the painting that would be what he had in his house. So I'm adding a few there. He had some of these, they kind of look like a heart shape. You can add a few of those too. You can even add some flowers if you want. Now you can put these leaves anywhere you want. You can change them around. If you like more flowers, you can add more flowers. In the painting, the background kind of looks like there's some polka dot wallpaper. So I'm just gonna add some of that in there. All right. Now we get to the part that the painting's really about, these goldfish. So we're gonna add some goldfish in the bottom part here. And a goldfish is really easy to draw because it's an oval and it's got like a little triangle tail. I'm just gonna add an eye. So there's one, I'm gonna add a few more. It doesn't have to look exactly like his painting. We're just, being inspired by his goldfish. You can change it around and make it your own. I'm gonna add one more little goldfish down here. Now, this oval up here is important because we see the goldfish reflected up there. The reflection, it's not like a mirror, so it's not exactly what you see. You don't see every little detail. So that I'm gonna add in just when I add color and I'll show you as I'm coloring it. So you should have it all drawn now and you're going to find what you need to color. If you drew yours in pencil, which is really what you should start with, you can then trace it with a marker. After you have it all traced out, you can take out whatever you're going to color with. I'm going to use mostly crayons for this project, but markers or colored pencils would work well too. But I'm going to keep my crayons. So I want to show you what I'm talking about with the reflection up here. So I'm going to color my goldfish. Um, 
a little bit of like a red orange and orange colors. So I'm gonna pull a few of those out. Any kind of orange or yellowy color is fine. It's totally up to you. And I'm going to color these goldfish with this reddish orange color. And they don't have to be all exactly the same. And like I had said, there is a reflection up here, but it's not exactly the same as this. It's a little bit blurry because that's what reflections in the water will look like, a little bit blurry. If you've ever looked into a pool and you see um, your hand or your feet under the water, it looks a little blurry. So it's something like that. It's not gonna be exactly clear. So I've colored my goldfish. And now up here, I'm gonna make some reflections. I'm not drawing them exactly, but I'm gonna give it kind of like an ovally shape. This one is on top, so I'm gonna make a little bit of an ovally shape up here. This one is below it. This one would be more up top here, and I'll have one below it. So they don't look exactly like what you would see if the fish were in a mirror. They're not an exact reflection, but they're a reflection in the water. So you definitely want to have that up there. Okay. Now the rest of it, I'm going to continue coloring and let you guys work on drawing or tracing or coloring yours while I work on mine. Is the finished product. I want you to think about filling in all your space with color, the background, the table, if you see under your table. It's a very colorful um, picture and it's a colorful painting by Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse was well known for using really bright and wild colors. So think about that when you're adding color to your picture. I can't wait to see all of your artwork.